Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover importing slides. Now, most of us will say, ah, that's easy. All you have to do is just drag and drop from one slide set into another. But the truth of the matter is, Microsoft has to do some careful calculations in the background. So there are three main options on importing slides, and I'm going to do them in order from the worst to the best. So I'm going to take these, these three slides here, two through four, and I'm going to drag them over here. The one that is most cumbersome and problematic is keep source formatting, and I'll show you why. Okay, so there it came over, looks okay, like it does in the original pretty much. Now I'll go to view and then slide master. And you'll see that what happened, instead of just having the seven, seven formats that I use, it imported a whole new slide master and a whole bunch of different layouts that came over and clutter things up. So you say, okay, it's no big deal. Well, I've run into slide sets where people have added to and added to over the course of these uh, reoccurring briefings, where each of these slide masters, I had just one, now I've got two. But every time you import a slide and you adopt original formatting, you get a new slide set, slide master coming in here. And I had, ran into one where there was like 78 different slide masters. The file was starting to get big and it was really getting cumbersome uh, to deal with. So I'm going to hit undo. And now I'm going to my slide master and I just have my seven. Good. So the next thing is saying, well, I'm going to import those three and I'm going to drag, when I drag them over here, I'm going to, I'm going to, instead of selecting keep source formatting, I'm going to use paste as picture. Okay, what happened there? I had three slides and it crunched it down to one slide. So going back to the original, it took the first one and pasted that as a picture. It didn't paste these other two. So that means that if I was going to uh, want each of these over paste as a picture, I'd have to uh, do drag each one over individually. And might might be okay, but a lot of times you're building slides at the last minute and you're under time uh, constraints and time matters. So that is a little bit difficult. So I'm going to go up over here. So if I just pasted the picture, you would think that it wouldn't affect the templates. Let's see. Go to Slide Master and it didn't. But it does have the limitations of you can only paste one at a time. I'm going to hit undo and now I'm going to drag those over and I'm going to use destination theme. And now when I come to the slide set, the first one looked like that, the second one looked like this, and the third one looked like this. They were built differently. This first slide here I'm going to take, and this one was using a, in the original, it was using a, uh, a title and the content. So I'm going to hit the layout. The layout there is a bullet slide. Did that already applied that, but I'm going to hit reset. Bam! It happens just how you would uh, you would hope that it would happen. Now this next one, I'm going to hit reset, and that worked too. But this next one. This next one in the original was using text boxes in the title and down here in this part. So I'm going to hit reset. That's a text box and this is a part of a template. So I'm going to move this out of the way 
so that I can copy the text here from there, control A and uh, control C and paste it in here. I'm gonna get rid of the original one. And now this is in my bullet placeholder. So I should be able to hit reset and it comes out beautifully. The main thing you do is just try to use the destination theme you can use paste as picture. So I, I hope this helps. Have a good day.